Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ gathers us today in the table of the Eucharist as his friends. And Jesus tells us today that he loves his friends and he lays down his life for us. And so to prepare ourselves to receive this sacrament of Jesus, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, we pray, that being rightly conformed to the paschal mysteries what we celebrate in joy may protect and save us with perpetual power through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the Presbyters, in agreement with the whole Church, decided to choose representatives and to send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. The ones chosen were Judas, who was called Bersabbas, and Silas, leaders among the brothers. This is the letter delivered by them. The apostles and the presbyters, your brothers, to the brothers in Antioch, Syria, and Cilicia of Gentile origin, greetings. Since we have heard that some of our number who went out without any mandate from us have upset you with their teachings and disturbed your peace of mind, we have with one accord decided to choose representatives and to send them to you along with our beloved Barnabas and Paul who have dedicated their lives to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are sending Judas and Silas, who will also convey this same message by word of mouth. It is the decision of the Holy Spirit and of us not to place on you any burden beyond these necessities, namely, to abstain from meat sacrificed to idols, from blood, from meats of strangled animals, and from unlawful marriage. If you keep free of this, you will be doing what is right. Farewell. And so they were sent on their journey. Upon their arrival in Antioch, they called the assembly together and delivered the letter. When the people read it, they were delighted with the exhortation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. My heart is steadfast, O God. My heart is steadfast. I will sing and chant praise. Awake, O my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I will give thanks to you among the peoples, O Lord. I will chant your praise among the nations. For your mercy towers to the heavens and your faithfulness to the skies. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Above all the earth be your glory. I will give you thanks among the peoples, O Lord. I call you my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to you all that the Father has told me. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends. Because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you. Love one another. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel passage today, this is the very few times that Jesus uses the word friend. It is a very intimate word to use. In many of the Bible passages, we see Jesus referring to his disciples or to his followers. But in our gospel passage today, Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he said, I no longer call you slaves. I call you friends. Yes, you are a friend of Jesus. Sa ebanghelyo po na ating binasa ngayong araw, dito po ay matatagpuan natin, bibihira po gamitin ni Jesus ang salita na ito. Bibihirang gamitin sa Biblia ang salita na kaibigan. Madalas po ang nakikita natin sa Biblia ay tinatawag ang kanyang mga alagad, mga tagasunod ni Jesus. Pero ngayon, sinasabi niya sa kanyang mga alagad, hindi na ko na kayo tinatawag na alipin, kundi kayo ay aking kaibigan. At lahat po tayo na nagsisimba ngayong araw, maging kayo po na mga nanonood ng online mas na ito, ngayong araw sa pagharap natin kay Jesus, habang naririnig natin binabasa ito sa Ebanghelyo, sinasabi rin niya ito sa atin ngayong araw, sa bawat isa sa atin, Ikaw ay aking kaibigan, kayo ay tinatawag kong mga kaibigan ko. And when you are a friend, when Jesus calls you a friend, when someone calls you a friend, it means that He values you. He appreciates your importance, your identity. Kapag ikaw ay tinawag na kaibigan, ibig sabihin, mahalaga ka sa Kanya. And so, when Jesus calls you today as His friend, it means Jesus gives you value. Mahalaga ka sa Kanya. Pinakahalagahan ka ni Jesus. Wag po nating iisipin na 
tayo ay pinapabayaan niya, na tayo ay parang wala lang sa kanya. Ang sabi ni Jesus, tinatawag kita ngayong kaibigan. Hindi ka alipin. Ang alipin ay walang halaga. Ang isang alipin ay madaling palitan. Ang isang alipin ay hindi minamahal. Pero para kay Jesus, hindi tayo alipin. Tayo ay kaibigan. Mahalaga tayo sa Kanya. We are friends because Jesus values us. Jesus gives us importance. And being a friend of Jesus is not just about being called a friend or being a friend in times of, you know, good times, we are friends. No. For Jesus, being a friend means you are important and He is ready to lay down His life for you. He said, the greatest love is a friend laying down one's life for His friends. And this, Jesus showed us on the cross. You are important to Him because you are His friend. And He has already laid down His life on the cross for you because you are His friend and He loves His friends to the end. My dear brothers and sisters, if Jesus is calling us friends and He values us, He gives us importance, He also calls us now to a community of friends. The disciples now become His community of friends. In our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, we see the church in Jerusalem choosing representatives to send to the church in Antioch. And they chose Barsabbas and Silas. And they were sent to Antioch from Jerusalem to be the representatives of the apostles. And they brought with them a letter telling them of their appreciation of their faith. And so, when the church in Antioch received the letter of exhortation, it is said in the first reading, they were so delighted to receive the exhortation. Napakasaya nila na ang simbahan sa Jerusalem ay nagpadala pa ng representatives nagpadala pa ng sulat para ipakita sa kanila ang pagmamahal ng kanilang mga kapatid na nasa Jerusalem. And so the early church was teaching us that when Jesus calls us friends, He also calls us to this community of friends. And being a community of friends is appreciating one another giving value to one another, recognizing the gifts of one another. For the past weeks, we have been receiving a lot of food donations, monetary donations, so that we could give to the community pantry. And hindi man ho kami nagpo-post araw-araw, Pero araw-araw pa rin po ang pagbibigay natin doon sa community pantry dito sa community ng Intramuros. And we are very thankful for the many of you. We may not have posted or announced your names, but when you give food to these people, to people who are in need, then you tell them that we value you. We give importance to you. 
you are our friends. We are a community of friends. Because Jesus tells us, you are important because you are my friend. My dear brothers and sisters, let this Eucharistic celebration remind us of this message of Jesus. I no longer call you slaves. You are my friend. I value you. You are important to me. And I have laid down my life for you. And let this message also remind us that we are being called to a community of friends. Let us value one another, give importance to each other, acknowledge one another. By this, people will know that we are a community of friends in Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ calls us his friends and commands us to love one another. Let us show that love by the sincerity of our prayers. For every petition, let us say, Lord, let us remain in you. Lord, let us remain in you. That those called to preach the gospel in any way may proclaim the good news of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us remain, remain in you. That political leaders may fear God and do what is in accord with the words of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us, us remain, remain in you. That married couples may take to heart our Lord's command to love one another even in the most trying situations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us, us remain, remain in you. That the sick and the handicapped may find love in those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord let, let us, us remain, remain in you. That God may grant eternal peace to our departed brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, let, let us, us remain, remain in, in you. Lord God, hear our prayers and let your love grow in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the Lamb of Sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. 
let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite again everyone for our uh, holy hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament tonight at 6 p.m. We will be praying for the souls of our faithful departed, especially those who have passed away because of COVID-19. And uh, so tonight, as a community of friends, we gather together to pray for our dearly departed who are also friends of Christ. We commend them to the loving care of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we ask you again tonight at 6 p.m., let us uh, gather for the Holy Hour in front of the Blessed Sacrament. It will be broadcasted live here on uh, our Facebook page and also our YouTube channel. And uh, tomorrow, Saturday at 9 a.m., we will be uh, celebrating a Holy Mass for the dead here at the Manila Cathedral to be celebrated, presided by Bishop Broderick Pabilio, our Apostolic Administrator. And uh, Bishop Pabilio will be joined by the priests of the Archdiocese of Manila. And uh, Bishop Pabilio tells us that the priests will gather all your prayers, especially our prayers for the souls of our faithful departed, so that as an archdiocese, we should come and offer our prayers for the dead and also for their loved ones who are grieving at this moment. And so we also invite you tomorrow at 9 a.m., to tune in on our Facebook page and YouTube channel so that we could celebrate this a Holy Mass for the souls of our faithful departed. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Reina ng langit, magsaya, Alleluia, anak mong binala sa tuwa, Alleluia, ay nabuhay na maguli, Alleluia, di pa na langin mo kami sama. Alleluia.